<laughs> Did you hear what they just said? Uh, what did they say? Stand by to be funny. Who are you kidding? <laughs> I, don't st I don't stand by to be funny. <laughs> I'm Laban Johnson. I'm Larry Bly and welcome to Cooking Cheap. How are you? Good. I'm glad to hear it. Oh, and I'm real sorry about that. Yeah. Shouldn't happen to a dog, right? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it happened to it, your it dog. Oh, that's even dog. worse. <laughs> that's right. I've never heard of dog. Uh, well, I didn't want to say that. I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to do a funny chicken recipe today. <laughs> a funny chicken. Well, you mean it's a one you, of those kind of you know chickens. You want to? You know something? <laughs> what? I, I was raised on a farm. And, you know, I'm always talking about that, but I had to call Johnson on the phone yesterday to figure out which end it was I was supposed to stick my hand uh, in to, uh, to do what it is that I have to do today. And it is true. I had to talk him through it, it over true. the phone. <laughs> like he was trying to fly the plane into the airport and needed somebody to talk him down. Oh, it's uh, terrible. But it, it is true. I, I have, <laughs> let me tell you something. I had nothing to do with uh, chickens except to feed them when I was on the farm. Uh -huh. I had nothing to do with, with cleaning them and all that stuff. That's not what you your aunt told me. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we get letters. Oh. We got some today. Yes, we do. D Hello, fellas. I enjoyed your show today. Mm. Really, you guys are comical. Sure would like to try that dish. I noticed as you were chopping vegetables, you scrape everything with the knife. No wonder they don't last long and don't cut. Use the back of the knife, okay? Best of everything and thanks and good luck on with the show. And We're that's from Mrs. Joseph Zetter in Newport. What is that? Newport, Ricky, Florida. I don't know. We're not laughing at your letter, Laban. We're laughing because a fly almost went in your mouth oh, while you had it open. That him. fly was in here. It's it, just it, buzzing all around. When I got here today, it was asking for you. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, there are no flies on him. Somebody wanted, uh, <laughs> please send the candy recipe 601. Looks good. You guys are great. Enjoy your show. Miss Ms. Wilkins. And this, you see, you don't have to write a long letter. All you have to just a little simple card will do. As long as it's in closed with a self-addressed stamped uh -huh. envelope. You don't have to write a big hoo-ha. We can't read much anyway. And this letter came from Lenore Hobbs in Cullen, Louisiana. And it's written so pretty, I don't know whether they can get it up it's that close. It's just gorgeous. But it's just the most beautiful handwriting I have seen for many years. It looks to me like this lady was a graduate of the Palmer School of Handwriting <laughs> somewhere. It is just lovely. She's a professional and calligrapher. She, yes, and she says, Dear Sirs, your program, Cooking Cheap, was the first, uh, I can't read it here, the first something <laughs> and I saw since we got the electric. <laughs> it's her husband's name, the first something, and I saw That since just we... goes to prove that sometimes your handwriting can be too pretty. <laughs> since we got the electric, and I must write and let you know how much we enjoyed it. <laughs> so, whatever, he, I guess that's Al, maybe. I don't know, I can't read. Uh, so, so he said, th this program alone was worth every penny we paid that peddler for the television set back in 59. <laughs> Since we only get electric today, it has been a long wait, but if all the programs are like yours, it has been worth it. <laughs> so, And she goes on from there and tells us to keep up the good work and everything, and I wish we could read what her husband's name is. Thank you, Lenore. <laughs> we appreciate it. <laughs> We've read this one on the air Which, before. Really? Yeah. We've already read that one. Well, I'm sorry. I was publicly humiliated. That's why I know. Here's another one. Dear sir, on Saturday, April 12, my husband, Bill, <laughs> turned on our public TV station. In time to catch the end of your program, please send me a copy of your recipes, and I would appreciate any other recipes you have to offer. I was born and lived at Natural Bridge until William's work required us to move. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, we hope that you move to a good location. Thank you, Ernestine Davis. And not that there's anything wrong with the Natural Bridge of Virginia. Oh, it's a that, wonderful place. Oh, it's very fine. Yes, it is. But, uh, Anyway, this letter came in from Willis J. Talley in Rose Pine, Louisiana. Rose Pine, Louisiana. <laughs> I guess it's Rose Pine. Maybe it's Rose Pine. <laughs> Who knows? Dear sirs, please send Cook and Cheap uh, <laughs> recipe to the address below. I watch your show all the time, and to me, it is the best cooking show on TV. Yeah. Keep up the good work. Your show don't have a man or a woman who don't know nothing about cooking. They're being silly and asking stupid questions. What? <laughs> yeah, I suppose you're right. <laughs> I guess. Thanks. Thank you Thanks, very much. Thanks, Willis. We appreciate Willis, it. And, and you're right. We try not to ask stupid questions. And What'd uh, you say? Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go cook. Let's do it. Let's cook. I can't wait for you to do yours. 
not well, to mention mine. <laughs> Before you get started on that, let me tell everybody, I've got some green beans in here steaming and I have to take them out and I also have something in the oven I need to get out right now, if you don't mind. Well, that was certainly fast, wasn't it? This is an interesting recipe. I've... <laughs> What'd you do? It missed the path. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> We're going to short out some cameras for sure. Well, now, let me today. get this out because this... Uh, put the bucket under there. I'm going to do something oh, no. called... Rosemary, lemon rosemary chicken. You remember lemon rosemary, don't you? I certainly do. Oh, what, what have you done? Are they okay? <laughs> yeah, they're fine. What have you got there? These are hazelnuts. Yeah. And here they are in the raw state. And here they are in the blackened state. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be rolling across hazelnuts around here for a year. No, and you have to put them in a towel so I'm using this rasty cheesecloth that we had. You remember that cheesecloth? No, I thought that hazelnuts got, well, I hate to say the word, wormy. Oh, no. I thought they did. No, I never heard that. And well, anyway, you have to get them in this towel. Certainly they and, can. Well, I guess any nut could get wormy. Hmm. But these, actually, these now, are known as filberts, too. Now, what are you doing? I'm rolling around inside this towel, and that gets the the husk off of them. Huh. The skins. The, thank you, the skins. <laughs> oh. Highly technical yes, term. Yes, very. Skins. In this no good cheese cloth. Now how long did you bake those and for at oh, what? Oh, I don't know, at, at 350, <laughs> 400 for about 20 minutes, which was maybe a little bit longer than it needed to go. Now, are those red hot? They're very warm. Now, mm -hmm. how will you get them open? I know nothing but I don't, about You don't have things. to open them. These are, they're already open. Oh, see? they are the open ones. These are the nuts. Did you purchase these from somewhere? Yes, I did. So you didn't get these? Yeah. I, I didn't get them in the... Uh, you didn't get these... Uh, I didn't get these. I went to the food co-op. Yeah. Those, those things are hot. They, you yes, can't do anything with well, them. Of course. With them. That's why I had to get them out now so they can cool off. They smell like they're burned, too. No, they are. They're not? No, they're, they're really. They're they're just they look toasty. like that? They're just toasty. Huh. And I mean, we all want to get toasty every now and then, don't we, boys and girls? Mm-hmm. Yes, we do. All right, now, Lair, I'm finished with that. Why don't you go ahead and tell us uh, what you're doing? <laughs> I wish I knew. Well, first, a, you a lot catch of a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes they're easier to catch if they're in a bag, because they can't run as fast. <laughs> Did you put that bag over that chicken's head so it would smother it's to death? <laughs> this is the asphyxiated chicken. The next thing you do is open it up, which I'm going to do. No, what really? Let's start this thing seriously. I had so much fun with this, I was on the phone to Johnson for 20 minutes <laughs> yesterday afternoon going through this. He didn't know which end of the bag to open. First, of, <laughs> first important thing is I did so, <laughs> is to wash your little hands because you're going to be playing with this chicken quite a bit. For the next you mean five you're going to put your hands on that chicken in places that now this is a, a rooster doesn't go. <laughs> <laughs> what are you I'll going to do with swear. that chicken? You'll see it. Tomorrow. Oh, all right. This is a whole fryer, and uh, <laughs> well, it is. It's a whole fryer. <laughs> what it says, a whole fryer, and you take it out of the bag. <laughs> Hey, this one's a little easier than the other one. It's got its tail on it. You know, I decided that <laughs> Well, that, that was... helps. That gives you some geographical reference. Now, to let the... me tell you something. <laughs> let me tell you something. Yeah, no, stay on that. Yesterday, I was trying to stick my hand in there, and I realized it was where his neck used to be. You can't do that. This is the business end. All right? All right, hang on a second. Let me get rid Well, Well, now, wait a why minute. Why don't you keep the trash well, can to yourself, Well, that's where Johnson. to put it. Now, wait a minute. Show them the way that chicken ran around in the yard before it died. Like so. No, no, no. It, it went around like this. Well, I don't think we have oh. to reconstruct the entire well, chicken. Why? Now, see, that's the back. Yeah, that's the back. Okay, there it is. All right. Well, you want to make it do a little dance or something? Well, right? if it could. She. <laughs> so, anyway, now what you got to do is you got to chicken reach. Chicken blood on my hands. <laughs> you got to reach in there because there's all sorts of goodness in there. And you got to pull it out. <laughs> Oh, I'm being eaten by a chicken. Uh, they've got the giblets and the uh, what? Giblets. Oh, what what constitutes the giblets? Well, you know, you got your gizzard and your lizard and your all that stuff in there. Now wait a minute, lay it all out because we want to be able well, to see what it. it is. Well, that's it. That's all that's in there. Well, they, let's identify. These aren't as complete. The folks at home. Well, you identify well, all the things. Well, hand it over here. Let me show them to all right. for the people at home. That's the. Uh, 
I don't care to. That's the, let's see, where are we? Can we get a, a good shot of this? That is a good shot, they're saying. All right, that's the neck, and that's the heart. And by the looks of this chicken, it had fat around the heart and is about ready to die. Anyway. Too much cholesterol. <laughs> and this is the gizzard. And do you know the function of the gizzard? No, I really don't. Well, neither do I. <laughs> and they're nasty to eat. I don't like them, but a lot of people do. Oh, they're horrible things. I, don't, I can't now, imagine. I, now, wait a minute. That chicken didn't have a liver. I know. I'm Probably real, was I'm, cerotic and they, <laughs> they kept I'm, it out. I'm seriously, I'm seriously <laughs> concerned about it. Anyway, it's all out of there. Now, the reason that you had to open up the cavity, if you'll pardon the expression, <laughs> <laughs> Johnson, let me get through this. It's because, <laughs> because we're going to have to put stuff in it and around it with a halfway. <laughs> okay. In it and around it. <laughs> Five minutes. <laughs> so anyway, here's what we're going to do now. Now we've got some, uh, would you get me some paper towels over here? I, I keep getting chicken fat. Well, I'll, I'll split with his. Sort of like hanging sandwich. around Johnson. So now you get yourself a fryer like Here, that. doctor. You chase. You had your forceps with you. <laughs> <laughs> now, what you do is you place this in a, a nice large roasting pan. But we don't have an extra roasting pan. The one that I'm using is in the oven with the real thing in it. You'll see that in a little bit. So you're going to have to pretend like this is a huge roasting pan. <laughs> <laughs> so but I'm not going to put that in there right now. First thing you got to do is you take a couple of lemons. All right? As a matter of fact, uh, 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 how many lemons? I just did this yesterday. Why have I forgotten? A couple. That usually means two. Two lemons. <laughs> two lemons. Now here's what you did. Now this is what she says that you were supposed to do. Take it and just peel it. Uh huh. All right. Yeah. However, Johnson and I have agreed that if you just peel it, you get all this pulp, which is very bitter, and that's supposed to go in there. So instead of doing that, my suggestion is that you just take a, a peeler and just very gently peel off the outside <laughs> of, the <lemon. laughs> of the lemon. It's going there, but that's all right. It doesn't have to be pretty boys and girls. Why not? We're just trying to get the lemon peel <laughs> off the outside lemon of it. Lemon peel, very, very pretty, pretty, not the lemon peel. And that's what I'm going to do to two lemons. Do you have anything you need to do yeah, while I'm doing let me. I've got three tablespoons of margarine in this, this uh, frying pan, oh. and I'm going to add to it my green beans. Now this could be up to a pound of green beans, and these are flat beans, and ordinarily I wouldn't have used them. And I want to put those in here so that they can begin to heat through again. And I've chopped up the white parts of six green onions. I've got one more to do so that uh, those of you that don't know what I'm talking about can see it right here. This is just the, the bottom part, not the tops that are real dark green. And those all go in there. Oh, I just discovered a, a bulletin just came yes. in. The chicken gave its uh, liver uh, oh. to another chicken oh. uh, in need of a liver. Oh, so that's, that's wonderful. Yeah, we've just found that out. This is the bean Looked that went in medical there. records. This is a flat bean, and it needs to be strung. You have to pull the string off Watch of it. And uh, those round ones you get in the supermarket today, you don't really need to worry about stringing. That's well, why I was going to say, why when, when, when someone has gone to a great deal of trouble to, to come up with these Here's beans the right here and you pull th that don't off. have strings, why would you use a stringed bean? Because this was the only one that was in the supermarket oh. today. <laughs> I'm sorry I asked. Uh-huh, so am I. Yeah. <laughs> but they, they had apparently had well, a big day yesterday. Yeah. Sure, yeah. they just running out of things. People were just knocking me over with string beans yesterday on my way in. So the... now I've got six, the whites of six green onions and about a pound of green beans, which you could use up to two pounds. And they're in here and they're beginning to heat through and Larry, you go ahead and we'll add some more stuff to this in a few minutes. You want to add these gizzards to it? Oh, no, I don't think so. Oh, I have some free gizzards. Like some free gizzards? All right. Okay, now here, look, I want to show you. This, this is the peel, and it's okay. Nothing wrong with that. But it's just white stuff that you want to stay away from. So if you do literally what this recipe says, you, you might get a little bit of bitterness. I don't know. I mean, obviously, this oh, lady yeah. tried this out. She had good success with it. We're just doing a little twist on what she said she wanted to do. So, now what you do is you take the peel of two lemons. Isn't he a mess? And you, Can you do the limbo too? Hang on a sec. And oh, you no. open that thing up and throw it in there. Oh! 
Put that in Take there. Take that and right down the throat. <laughs> well, Johnson, you don't have to be so descriptive. Now, rosemary, about two tablespoons, two tablespoons of fresh or dried rosemary. And that's what rosemary looks like. She used, to, she used to look a lot better at that, but she doesn't anymore. And take some and sprinkle inside it. I'm just guesstimating. And then let's take this and place it in our huge roaster. <laughs> Times are tough all over. <laughs> this thing needs a chicken condominium. All right, and take some of that and throw it over the outside of it. <laughs> Don't give me a hard time, Johnson. <laughs> now, take these lemons that you just... Um, that you just did whatever it was you did to them and, and cut them in half, all right? And take a fork, I've learned this from Mr. Johnson, and poke that in there a couple of times, it'll make life a whole lot easier for you. And you take this lemon juice and just juice all over this chicken. See that, isn't that nice? Don't worry about the seeds, they'll end up somewhere, probably in someone's gullet, but don't worry about it. Two of them, the two that you used. Take a max, oh, by the way, this is cooking cheap and I should tell you what you can do is take all of this stuff, the gizzard and unidentified flying parts, and take all that and put it into a, 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 a freezer bag. Throw it in a freezer and then come special holidays when you wanna make up a sure. smart little uh, whatever. <laughs> what do they call that stuff? Uh, chicken soup or, or stock. Yeah, soup or stock or anything like that. Then you got that. Get it out and boil. It's just as good as new. It's wonderful. Right. Don't waste that, all right? That's a part of what we teach you down here. That and bad manners. Oops, there's a seed. If you do see one, you can get it out. You mean the chicken had a seed on it? <laughs> no. Oh. All right. And one more. All right. I want to tell you, I tried this recipe yesterday, and you'll get a taste of it a little bit. Aside from the fact this is the boniest chicken I've ever seen in my life. This chicken has no fat on it at all. It's all bone. Well, it's a, it's a fryer. It's a fryer. You could use a, a, a full size. You, yeah, can. you probably want to use a, a little plumper one. I didn't want to go to the trouble. So now, and the other thing that you do then is you take... Oh, no. One fruit and a, of the vine. <laughs> alcohol. Uh -huh. One and a half cups of white wine. And you pour that. You know, you could go to jail for that if you were in Lynchburg. And all around there. <laughs> and you're going to cook that. But we're not, Laban. I know. And put that in there. That seems like an inordinate amount. And it also calls for just a little bit of water. So I'll put just a little bit of water in there also. Mm -hmm. Now, this is uh, my suggestion is that you do this in a much larger uh, <laughs> roasting pan <laughs> and one with a lid on it because it calls for 375 degrees 45 minutes and if you cook it uncovered it's going to have a tendency to get a little bit rubber on you mm -hmm. so cook it covered for a while and then when it's nice and tender and ready to be served practically just before you serve it take the lid off and let it brown on the outside for about 30 minutes or yeah. so something like that and when you do that it will hopefully look like this. I may as well show it. This one is still doing its thing. It's real pretty. Well, I don't have anything to get it out with. Here we go. Let me show the good side, because I tried it yesterday. <laughs> it looks like you the mice that. have been in it. Are you, you sure the, one of those cats you got at home side. didn't eat it? I'm trying, I'm trying. What do you need? I can't see oh. the monitor. There you go. Tilt That's the, the best you're going to get, boys and girls, and it's hot. So anyway, there you go. Well now. It's real pretty and it smells marvelous. Now, the, the next thing I've got to have to go in these uh, hazel green beans is we have to chop the nuts. I will say to Rosemary, Miss Chicken. No, it's Rosemary Chicken. Oh, who gave us this? Unknown viewer, any town in the USA. Whoever it was that gave us that recipe, it is excellent. Thank you, it's wonderful. Anyway, as I was what? saying, I'm sorry. I've got a half a cup of hazelnuts here in this. He just interrupts me all the time. It's well, like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean. Uh, and anyway, it. we need to crush them, so I'm just going to pound them with this inside of this rag. And we'll see. Boy, this really get, helps get your frustrations out. Not that I have a lot of them. Oh! <laughs> Oh, the pain. Thank you. Now, 
There are the hazelnuts, and they had been pounded into... Submission. Well, among other things. <laughs> and they probably have cooked a little bit too much, but I'll uh -huh. throw them over in that, there. What'd you say? I said they've probably been cooked a little too much, but they're going on over in Didn't there. Didn't surprise me. I told you they looked real bad. Well, you know, what can you do? This is television. It's live. That's right. You know, we're not That's doing right. it over and you over. You want to put these in there? No. Oh, okay. And well, now here's my hand. lemon and my lemon squeeze. Boy, that does smell good, though, even though you didn't. And you get two tablespoons of the juice of the lemon in here. Mm, 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 mm. This does smell delightful. Oh, it Boom. does. Let me give it one more little shot here. Where'd you get this recipe? Oh, it's one I just kind of made up. And then that gets tossed around. You kind of made up. Well, mm -hmm. did you or didn't you? Yeah, I did. Right. I what possessed you to make this recipe up, if I'm well? Ask? You know, we had that rosemary chicken, and I thought we needed a, a dish that would complement it. So, you know, you always think about hazel and rosemary, rosemary and hazel, everybody's always talking uh -huh. about. It. So I thought, well, I'll have to do something with hazelnuts, and this came to mind. Oh, hey, the lemon rosemary chicken has just flown up on the screen. Oh, good. From an, uh, an unknown viewer. Take a chicken and wing it. <laughs> You're not supposed to wing it. That's that's very misleading. Yeah, that you, just means have a good time. You don't want a flesh wound on your Place on your the chicken in a bowel. roasting pan, squeeze the juice of two lemons over the bird. Squeeze is uh, spelled wrong. Okay. Take the juice, lemon, and stuff lemon skins in bird. That doesn't take much. Just throw them in there. Take two tablespoons of fresh or dried rosemary and season the bird inside and out with it. Don't even need any salt and pepper on this because you know by using a lemon juice you get around the salt issue. Mm -hmm. You add, get your armpit out of the way, one and a half cups of white wine and a half a cup of water. <laughs> well boy that just sounds delicious. Well uh, Laban would you like to tell us? Uh, oh I thought maybe I would. Two <laughs> pounds of green beans. This pepper has got oh, over to hard. the bad. Don't put that stuff in there. <laughs> Let me get you some more. Uh, two pounds of green beans trimmed and halved three tablespoons full of margarine, a half a cup toasted hazelnuts, skinned and coarsely chopped, six large green onions, white part only, minced, two uh, table teaspoons of fresh lemon juice, salt and pepper. And I probably put too much pepper in this. Of course, you, you did it the whole time you were reading the... Uh, Witchy LaRue says she has a good one for us today. <laughs> I think that's funny. I have done that on occasion too. The whole time you're talking... And look at all these strings <laughs> have come out that... that we didn't get to pull off of here. Oh, they just awful. cook right out. But well, that means that the ones that didn't come out, we're going to be eating. Hey, yeah. where's the witch? We need a letter. I believe she's going to fly through momentarily. There she goes. Yes, there she comes. With a letter from moi and toi. Right. <laughs> <laughs> witch. Gosh. You give her an inch and she'll take her mouth. E, E, Gorch. Umph, umph. E, E, E. Aha, aha. Gorch, Gorch. Chi, Chi, ump. E, A, uh, er. Runch. Runch, the gorilla. <laughs> well, you read that so well. What does it mean? Well, a gorilla has written in and asked, we <laughs> took it down to uh, Bern Ured at the Roanoke Zoo <laughs> and asked him to translate it. And what it means is, do you boys have any recipes for bananas? So uh -huh. next week we're going to be doing banana recipes. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. That's good enough. All right, let's get this uh, turkey or chicken as it is on the platter. <laughs> This is going to be quite l lovely if I can get my hip as welded to the stove. <laughs> Can't get my hip off the stove. Well, okay. we heard you were going to have to have a hip implant this year. Oh, excuse me. i got to get my knife. <laughs> There's just so much to do at the end of a program. Johnson, you have made the biggest mess on that floor I've ever seen. Where? The staff is going to oh, kill Oh, I you. haven't. And they don't mind. Everybody knows Tom I comes just want in you, and cleans This it is up. the meatiest part, of course, of Malton. I want you to give that. Oh. That really does have a marvelous flavor. Oh, I can't it. wait. Marvelous, but marvelous I will, flavor. Because we have a whole minute to go. <laughs> it's going to take me long, that long to get past well, the crystal. Well, whatever that was, it just squirted right on out. Well, you don't have to mention it. Well, it was kind of bizarre. <sighs> I'll try that if you'll try All the right, chicken. I'm trying the chicken. <laughs> I know I'm going to burn my mouth. It's got strings in it. <laughs> Real bad strings. That's the way God made it. Don't complain. Why didn't you break these little things off the ends? I thought you were supposed to break them off. Why? That's the way I was taught in the country. Well, me to too, but I mean, think about it. Why do you break that end off? Because they're tough. 
Oh, not that end. That's the tender end. This is why. Because it leads to other things. Mmm. Well, it tastes real good. Other things. You see what I'm saying? What? What? Oh, mm. goodbye. Oh, the chicken is great. This has been a wonderful, oh, a great show. Oh, it's a good meal. Great show. Wonderful show. Great show. Bye.